local fourth grade teacher is using a class pet to teach life lessons. We're talking about two hermit crabs. It seems so simple, but she says the benefits seen and unseen are simply remarkable. So Lauren is joining us to say, what? <laughs> are you kidding me? I know. So when she told me about the story, of course, I was like, are you kidding me? A hermit crab? And I'll admit I was not sold. I almost passed up on the story. And then she invited me to her classroom. So we took a camera. And when I left, I was amazed. The acceptance, empathy, and inclusion these students displayed are lessons we can all learn from. So when you have one or two or three words that you want to share about your weekend, put your thumb up. Lisa Eisenberg wanted to find a way to spice up her fourth grade classroom. I know kids love pets. Two years ago, she stumbled across the Pets in the Classroom program and brought it to Penwin Elementary. I had the opportunity of uh, a number of different pets, ranging from rabbits to guinea pigs to fish. She settled on a hermit crab. Gentle. Two of them. We voted on naming the pets. Anthony and Bill now had a new home. Now she needed one more thing, a student to care for the class pets. And he became very attached to the hermit crab. Collectively, the entire class voted for Jaden to do the job. But it wouldn't be easy. One word about your weekend. Okay. No weekend. I'm a daddy. Daddy? Yeah. Okay. Jaden has Down syndrome, a common genetic cause of cognitive disabilities. Every one of these kids in this class learns differently than one another. But then when they see Jaden, who even has a little bit more specific needs, and they're so willing to help him, and it carries outside the classroom. It's not just in here with the crabs. Let's talk about your project. Here it is. Caring for the crabs. So we're going to show everybody. I'm going to put it up here so everybody can see. Allow Jaden to come out of his shell. What was the project about? I'm a club. For an entire year, Jaden completed duties which fostered responsibility and leadership. It's motivating and it's, it's fun. They don't see it as doing work. They see it as, you know, playing with the hermit crab. When it was all over, a presentation for students and parents. Jaden came up with some questions like, why do hermit crabs fight? fight? Special education teacher Lauren Seaman helped him. Instead of reading books, we watched YouTube videos and different things, so that's how we did our research. But all that information that was on his project was his words and what he learned. So it was a really big deal for him to be able to present his information. Students asking questions. And Every one day. question. One. And Jaden proudly spouting off answers. I'm shrimp. He loves to be kind of the center of attention a lot of times, so it was great for him to be able to have that role. Ms. Eisenberg says the payoff from this program is priceless. And you would never think the little hermit crabs that you can pick up on the boardwalk <laughs> would do so much. Can you move them to a number, Liam? Liam has taken over Jaden's job this school year. Why do you like Anthony better? Oh, because there's not. Because why? Because he's bigger. He's bigger. <laughs> also bigger, the confidence both boys have gained. Jaden has an opportunity now to teach Liam how to take the next step. You know, empowers him to be able to do that. And the other students in the classroom? Kids just figure it out, and they work together, and they help each other. And, and all of those differences just go away. Well, they don't mind taking a backseat to Jaden and Liam's way of learning. They learn that acceptance. They learn that this little guy might need some, some help. All the while learning life lessons they may not even realize. These are the things that I believe that school's about, especially elementary school, is that teaching these little people to be people. Kids who will grow up to be more sensitive adults. But it really helps my kids learn and practice empathy. And when the morning meeting ends, they put the crabs away. One at, one at a time. They leave Miss Eisenberg's class. Which way? Put this way. With more pep in their step and their heads held higher. Hello, Beth. Back to Miss Seaman's classroom. We'll be hi, buddy. Ready to tell their friends. This is Bobby. Bobby. About a job well done. Something like this, it's just so worth it. It's gone way beyond what I ever thought it could do. And now, Liam wants nothing more than a quick snack. It's my favorite. It's my hammer class. Cute. So if you have a great story that you'd like to share, email me at lauren.johnson at foxtv.com. And I have to tell you guys, Jaden loved the project so much, mm -hmm. he convinced Grandma to buy him a hermit crab ah. at home. So now he's so one now, at home in school. And at school. <laughs> yeah, so he gave up the duties from last year, and so now he has one at home that he can take care of and continue like learning the lessons that he learned.